What is going on everyone? Scions here with the Everyday Grind. Today's video, we're gonna talk about Dragonflight and the HUD, the new UI system, where we're gonna go through all the changes and all of the things so that you know what you're getting into. Also today, information dropped about Dragonflight release, November 28th. That's a Monday. Let's get in there and play the game. Now, come on, let's go check out the new UI. Let's get started. I'm going to set up my UI right now, how I like it. You may have some different thoughts and that's okay, but let's get into it. There's a few things before we open up the HUD that I wanted to show you. If you go up to the upper right-hand corner where my cursor is right here, you'll see that I can show my buffs or not show my buffs, which is a really cool thing. And down here on the bottom, you can't move it yet. I'm hoping that we'll be able to move it at some point before the game goes live. But for right now, your bag bar and then the bar wit down here with your quest logs and your group finder, and your adventure guide and all that, you can't move it. But what you can do with your bags is you come over here on the right-hand side where your big backpack, where your bag is, there's a little arrow here and you can reduce that. It's not a big thing, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Let's get into the HUD and I'll show you all the customizable options, what you can do and what you can't do. So we're gonna hit the escape key. We're gonna go to edit mode. Anything that you do in the HUD right now, you can save at any time. Right now it's in a default preset for modern. There's a preset for classic and a new layout. You can import it, you can share it. So you can also choose it once you save it and you get onto another character, just say, hey, I like my HUD the way my hunter has it or the way my paladin has it. And you can go ahead and use that. It's really simple, it's really easy. Let's start from the beginning. First of all, you have a grid. You can grid this thing. And your spacing goes from 20 all the way to 300. So if you need a grid that big to move stuff around, that's pretty big, man, that's pretty big. I like mine right around, oh, let's say 50, let's say 50. You can also snap now, this is new. You can snap all of your, all of your items, all your windows, so that's good. First things first, let's go to the target and the focus, which is right here. So here's your target and your focus bar. They're connected right now. You can't make them bigger. It's same with the same with the character pane. You can't make it any bigger. Maybe we'll get that at some point soon, but right now you can't. So I like mine up where I can see it. So we're just gonna move it maybe there. And maybe I'm gonna move it. Oh, let's say there. We're gonna snap it. We're gonna make sure everything's snapped in. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is party frames. These stay. So this is perfect. Let's go to party frames. So party frames are here. You can move those wherever you want them. Now you have a choice. You can use raid style party frames or you can show the background. I like use the use the raid party frames. I don't need anything else. You can adjust the, the width, the height. You can make them big or small or wide or whatever you want to do here. That's great. You can use a horizontal layout if you want, which is cool. A display board if you want. I think I'm probably going to do that. I like mine right here. We're going we're gonna to move it over here for now because we're gonna move it, we're gonna get it all together at some point, I just wanted to show you. The next thing we're gonna do, raid frames. They're right here. It's the same thing, you can move them, and we're gonna, I'm gonna put these together down here because that's how I like it. Same thing, you've got a raid size 10, up to 40, it shows you how big it is. That's a, that's a pretty good bar right there. So that's kind of what you're looking at. I like to set mine, I like to set mine at 25. That's enough for me, I'm good. And again, you can space it vertically if you'd like. You can have a display border. I'm. Probably not gonna do the display board on a raid. I need all the space I can get. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the stance bar. Let's check out the stance bar, fully customizable. You right click or you left click it here and you can make it horizontal, vertical, whatever you like. I prefer mine vertical. You can have columns if you want. The icon size is plenty, plenty big, 200 to 50. I like mine about, let's go, let's go 80. I like mine 80. And then you have padding, right? So you have a padding of two, and uh, this is fine. And I want columns. I want, that's probably good for me right here. I'm gonna put the stance bar here because we're gonna move that as well. And I'm gonna show you how to do that and how to overlay it. Next up is the pet bar. Pet bar is here. It's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna, we're gonna left click it. We're gonna move it. And it's gonna be the same thing for me. I want those rows, what is it? Did I say four? I did say four. Icon size, I want it at 80, padding's fine. You can always show the buttons. You can always not show the buttons, it's up to you. And we're going to do this. You can also quick key bar or quick key bind mode. So you just click this and you can do all of that. You can change any of these settings anywhere at any time, which is a really, really thing. You can make them character specific as well. We're gonna cancel that for now. We're gonna go back to editing. We're gonna click the stance bar back. Okay, we're good, they're right there. Buff frames, 
The buff frames you can move also. I'm fine with where they're at. The debuff frame is right here. I can move this right underneath it. And again, I can change it. I can change the icon size. If I want to go 100, I could go 110. I can go all the way up to 200. But 100 is fine for what I need it for. You got the padding again. Icon limits. You can set that too. You can have 16 or 1 or however you want to do it. I'm going to leave it at 8. Fine. I can show the full if I want or not. We're just going to leave those right here because they're not here all the time. They're up for raids and dungeons. We're good. Boss frame. Here's the boss frame. Again, you can move the boss frames wherever you want and change them. You can use larger boss frames if you want or smaller ones. And you can use the cast bar on the side or not. I like to have my boss frames right here. This is a good spot. We're just gonna lock that in the hud tool tip so this tells you when you mouse over something where you you know what you're looking at where your you're mousing over like i'm mousing over this stack over here and it just moves with you You see that you can kind of see it underneath there's another what is that a vulcan a borkwin so we're gonna leave this here because i'm gonna move it at some point cast bar is here you can move it you can you can make it bigger you can make it smaller i like a bigger cast bar so i can see what i'm doing and since these are chosen i'm gonna put my cast bar i like to make it a little bit uniform let's go there i'm good i can lock it to the player frame if i want uh, the encounter bar here's your encounter bar when things happen the encounter bar for me i'm gonna put right over here so that i can see it right above my target extra abilities this is this is your flying and those kinds of things so let's move the extra abilities and again you can make those can't make them any bigger but you can move them i like them over this is still really touchy i'm gonna put them right here because there's really nothing going on here let's go with the possessed bar it's here it, it's fine right where it's at really i'll end up moving that too talking head frame this is huge this talking head frame is in everything it's in your way all the time we're gonna take the talking head frame and we're gonna put it over here maybe you're right let's put it right there that way I can see it. it's fine. It's not going to get in the way. The vehicle exit button is here. And I'm going to move this up so that I can see it. Arena frames, it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to overlay it because this is where I want my arena frames. I'm doing PVP or something like that. I'm just going to put it over the boss frames. I want it out of the way. Now, something that was added and something that's really, really cool is the quest bar. Look at this. We can move this now. This is outstanding. I'm not sure what I want to do with this right now. It's fine where it's at. I might even move it up a little bit. We're good. Now, I bet you're wondering about your talents. Well, it's really, really simple. You can move your talents all the time. So your main talent bar is the bottom one down here, action bar number one, and it has most of the customization. Now your action bar number one, there's a couple things here. You can do all the things you can with bartender and LVI. You can change the number of icons, the rows, how big it is, how small it is, the padding, all of that stuff. Here's what you can do. So let's move this stuff out of the way so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Uh, Let's go here. So you see, you have this artwork here. Some people don't want the dragons on here. Well, I can hide the scrolling art. Uh, not the scrolling art. I can hide the art bar. See that? You can also hide the scrolling on this too, on your on your bars. I like to do that also. And I also like mine. Let's take let's make everything uniform. It's at 80. I'm good where it's at right now. Uh, let's move these out of the way because we can. And let's move this. I mean, that's probably center, but. A little off center maybe but i like 80 percent paddings at two i'm good we're gonna go to the next one and i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna move it 80 here we go and i'm gonna lock it in down a little bit more we're good i'm gonna do the same thing here with this one back down to 80 move it down i mean the customization of this is outstanding it's really it's really really good i'm pretty happy with it overall again i'm i use bartender a lot of people use lvi i use the add-on move any everything i'm not using those anymore the only thing i might do is use shadow unit frames because i can't make these where i want them can't make them bigger maybe we can we're gonna wait and see on that but once you get here you can quick e-bind anything in here doesn't matter what it is you can do it down here on your on your main bar you can do it right here you can add things it's really really good so let's move things where i wanted to move them so we're gonna move this Let's get the pet the pet bar for here. I'm gonna move it here so I know. Uh, let's get the stance bar. I'm gonna move it here because that's what I like. I'm just gonna overlay it. So if I don't have a pet and I have a stance bar, the stance bar is out. We're gonna take, let's move this. I want this out of the way. Uh, you know what? Let's take this, let's move this too. Let's go to party frames, what braid frame? Move these, I like them here. Actually, I'm gonna wait because I want this bar here. I want this bar. Let's go to 80. That's, there's so much customization here. It's unbelievable. Uh, vertical's fine, but I only want six bars or six squares. 
I'm gonna move it here. A little crooked, isn't it? Move it over. Perfect. Perfect. Just down. Just so. We're good. I want. No, 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 not that. One. But I say six, and let's go two. Put this right here at eighty. We're good. Right, let's go ninety. Now let's take this and move it over here. Let's take this. I'm gonna overlay it here, so I'm good to go. I'm gonna take this right. I have details right here. Is usually where I have my details. I'm gonna move the frame over here so that I it can be above my details. However, I have it. This, however, we're gonna put this. I think we're gonna put this over here, out of the way. It's up in the left-hand corner. We're good. Let's get it here. It's gonna overlay on some other things, but I'm good with it. The last thing I'm going to do with this is I'm good with the tracker. Move the tracker out of the way. Is you can't move the loot window yet. It's it's in the game. It might be available at some point. We're still waiting for the finality of this, but this is your HUD setup. This is where you're at. It's clean, it's easy. I feel really good about it. The other thing that the HUD doesn't have that Shadow Uniframes has or LVI has is you don't have a combat fader or an action fader where when you're not in combat, your pain goes away, it stays there forever. The target one will go away, but your character pain right now just stays and stays and stays like that. Let's move this over a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. Now to save it, you go, all you have to do is hit save, put in a name, Thions, we're good. And you can do a character specific layout if you want. I don't need to. Save, done. Everything's right where I want it right now. Dunzo. And it doesn't matter. You can change it as much as you want. As much as you, you can change this as much as you want. So you can go here. Oh, I just want to go back to the modern, man. I'm good. Boom. Now it's back and it's got all this weird stuff in it and everything's over. Or I can go back to the edit mode and say, you know what? I like my UI better. So we're going to go right to Scions. Which, okay. And it's done. Easy, simple. A lot of customization here. Again, the add-ons that you won't need. Really, if you want to go bare bones and you don't want to totally freak out on your UI, you won't need LVUI. You don't need shadow unit frames. You don't need bartender. You don't need move anything. Anything customizable with the HUD, I can live with this all day. This is pretty clean. I'm really, really happy with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed me showing you the HUD features and the UI features of Dragonflight. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe. It helps me out. And don't forget to catch my live streams five days a week on Twitch. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.